Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Maury's Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing Let's Go to the City featuring Pascal or Animal Crossing Let's No, Animal Crossing City Folk, of course, featuring Pascal. It looks like we immediately know who our special character is today visiting. Um, it is another late episode because, well, we're still on the hunt for Rossetti and I can't bring myself to give up because we know the day we give up will, of course, be the day that Rossetti's reset center is open. Um, so I'm just watering the red turnip here. Um, apologies for missing two days. Um, as you know, I got another cold, and yeah, is that, wait, is this a hybrid flower? Let's check this out. Oh, black tulip. I thought it was purple plant. There we go. Maybe it's my monitor colors. <laughs> um, but yeah, actually, that might even be a hybrid flower, but then why would it be... It's on its own. How would that have grown if that's a hybrid? I don't know. Maybe it is a hybrid, maybe it isn't. Um, but yes, welcome back to another episode. It is a... what day is it? Tuesday. I'm still kind of uh, getting back to grips of things. So just watering some withered flowers. Uh, you haven't missed much. I did tune in um, the last couple of days just to water the turnip and grab the money rock, of course. So today we're going to continue with what we always do, maybe do a bit of landscaping. I think it's time we lay some more paths. Um, we will, of course, check to see if uh, Mr. Rossetti is in the city, but that will only take like 30 seconds. So it uh, should give us plenty of time to focus on doing a little bit of landscaping. I wanted to double check. It's been a few days since we... Um, ha harvested the coconuts. Wait a minute. I thought I could hear a balloon. It's so quiet in this game. Where's my slingshot? Which way is it going? I can't find it. Oh, there it is. It's coming this way. That's okay. We've got plenty of time. Here it is. Another balloon. <laughs> There we go. Nice close-up of the balloon. We definitely don't miss it. Now we've got our th whoops, three pellet slingshot. Okay, so straight in with the balloon present. It's probably going to be a Mario item, I hope. A blue cabinet. We'll settle for a blue cabinet. The blue... And the green furniture always seem a little bit more expensive for some reason. Um, but yes, yeah, sorry, I just, <laughs> getting sidetracked as usual, just wanted to check the coconut trees because I'm thinking they should all, with, since we've missed a couple of days, they should all have coconuts on them now, which they do. Which is going to be good for us because we can harvest all of them now and do a couple of fruit runs. And we've also got to check up on some of the ones, the fresh ones we planted. Yep, these are all ready to harvest which is great news especially since we lost our pear tree sad times but it also reminds me we do have some letters to open so maybe we've got a new pair um here we go and these are some of the ones we planted oh look this one is growing all the way out here that's so weird it's at least what one two three tiles away from the shoreline so I do wonder if it has something to do with this mini archipelago thing. This bit that sticks out. Or the river. Or the fact that the beach line may even come across here. Maybe. That's interesting. We'll have to plant some more across here and see if they grow as well. But we can harvest all of these. Oh, these two are still growing so they won't have any. And we've got one there. Oh, uh, we planted like two or three here and they didn't grow. Interesting. Maybe we have too many trees in this acre. Or maybe it's because of that sign. Because we can't plant too close to the house. Although, this tree managed to grow here. Although, I think that was one that spawned at the start of the game. So, maybe that would disappear if a villager moved in here. Interesting why they didn't grow there. Anyway, we can get back on with things. We should probably take Pascal a scallop at some point. Um, what time is it? It should just be gone 8 o'clock, so we've got plenty of time. We might as well grab the money rock first then, and then we'll go in to see what Nook has on offer today before we speak to Pascal, speak to some villagers, do some path design. Oh, we find the money rock straight away. I love it when that happens. Um, we're still 
never gonna get that 8-5. We are not destined, I don't think, to get the maximum amount of money from the money rock. But maybe it will happen one day. Uh, oh. Okay, we might as well pick some acor acorns? Coconuts while we're here. Acorns. Is there acorns in this game? I don't think there is, is there? Um, there we go. Oh, yes, we've got some. I, when I uh, when I logged on just to water the turnip, because we don't want it, that to wither again like it did last week, um, I also grabbed the cedar trees from Nooks because... Uh, yeah, I was talking about doing a lot of landscaping with the trees, and it's much easier if you've got a whole bunch of trees you can plant at the same time, rather than just doing, like, one or two at each time, because it does take a long time, um, and you kind of lose the vision if you're only doing one or two trees here and there. You kind of lose what you the kind of look you're going for, and ultimately, unless anyone else has any really good ideas, which please let me know in the comments, um, I generally feel like having a... I've always wanted to do a really dense forest. Like, I want every tile to have a cedar tree on the northern part of town. I don't want you to be able to walk through there without bumping into a cedar tree. So that's the plan anyway. I don't think we can really do that because a lot of the time when you get too many trees in one place, they stop growing and you end up with gaps anyway. But then we can fill those with other things like flowers and stuff, so... Um, but obviously we're a long way from that because we do need to... Um, uh, we do need to cut down a whole bunch of hardwood trees. I'm gonna grab this last one, there we go. Uh, and replace those. So the idea being all these hardwood trees and all these normal fruit trees will be on this lower level, which if we check the map, is huge areas. About I would say it's almost 50% of the map. If you if you ignore the big plazas, or if you include the big plazas, sorry. Um, it is probably about 50% of the map. So we're going to have 50% hardwood trees and then 50% forest. I want all this area to be forest. That's the plan anyway. Of course, we're a long way off that because we've got like 300 hardwood trees. So that's a lot of days buying cedar, wood, uh, cedar trees. But yeah, so let's go and sell these coconuts. Pascal, we will get to you. Don't worry. I know. I'm sure you're patient. Wait, what are you? An otter. Yeah, you're a patient otter. But we'll come back because we've got some letters to open anyway. Maybe we'll have some fruit to harvest. Uh, and we will lay some paths today, I think. We need to, we've got a couple of areas we want to join up. And we might even tweak the design a little bit. We're thinking it's a little bit too... Uh, what's the word? It's a bit too prominent. It's a bit in your face. That It doesn't really... It's not very subtle. Um, hey, yes, yes, tell me. What can I do for you? I want to sell. Sell what? A whole bunch of coconuts. Actually, only six. But this gives you a really good idea of how much they're worth. 3,000 bells. See, 500 bells each. Easy money. Easy money. I've noticed that the order of these tools change every day. Um, we've got another cedar tree here. I really wish Tom Nook would sell two a day or even three a day. I think one day we had two and then the rest has just been one single cedar tree every day. But at least we have four. Okay, let's go upstairs. We'll check out the furniture real quick. Another one of my favorite things to do. Oh, wow, what's that? Like a totem pole. Welcome to the first floor. This is where we sell furniture and other items of home decor. This, I remember this being quite an expensive item in the GameCube. What's this? Ah, yes, that's a bear pole. A fine choice. It can be yours, 1,400 bells. Oh, this thing always seems to appear here. Oh, cool, a fire hydrant, a little bear. Nothing's uh, leaping out at me. So I don't know if we want to buy anything. Once we've paid off our debts, I think that will be the time to buy like everything we see to try and complete the catalog. But until then, we really need to save our money. There's nothing there that would benefit our house, I don't think, or help the feng shui in any way. Um, we probably will need to buy the flowers a little... Actually, let's just get them now, while we're in here. Um, yes, thank you. Uh, of course, we're still... We can't upgrade the shop anymore, but we're still working towards getting the points from buying things. Eighty bells each, such a bargain. 
I'm so glad they're not like 500 bells each. Oh, we can't, can't carry anymore. Oh, I was going to move stuff into my letters, but I don't think we've got any. Yeah, we haven't. Do you know what? We're going to sell the blue cabinet. And we can put the net into there. And then we should have enough space. We don't immediately need the blue furniture. It doesn't help feng shui in any way, so may as well. There we go, and we'll grab the last bag. As you know, if you've been watching, we pretty much just buy the flowers and more or less just plant them outside of the shop so we've got them. Because it's so easy to, in earlier games, it's so easy to move them. You literally just pick them up and replant them. Um, you don't even have to dig them. So let's just plant them here. When we decide what we do, I, uh, gonna do with them. I think we eventually every every single uh, villager home, sorry, is gonna have their own flowers. But I'm still undecided what to do. I think we need to like map out a grid of the acres. But then that would mean putting designs everywhere. Do we really want to do that? I think it's every 16 tiles. Um, so it'd be every kind of 16 holes and then a line. And that would be, either side would be the new acre. We could easily do it, but we are sh short of precious design slots. Only eight. Um, okay. Let's grab the letters first, then we'll worry about the, uh, the path. There we go. I can never tell if we're actually watering the correct tile. Okay, we've got to harvest the other coconuts as well. So we'll do that after this. Oh, there's a weed! Oh, we've got loads of letters. Um... Ooh, 20,000 from the Happy Room Academy. Not the best. Okay, so we've got a letter from eight villagers, it looks like. I should just remove this there. Apollo! Maury, thanks a bunch for the letter and swell present. I was so happy I teared up a little. Uh, take this gift as my way of saying thanks. This is weird. Later, Apollo. So we have discovered, in again, in case you missed it, just going to miss it a couple of times because I know it's easily, it's easy to miss like five seconds. Um, but basically, we've come to the conclusion and theory that if you write only one line in a letter, you're more likely to get a cheaper item and therefore fruit. Whereas for the last two months, we've been writing really long, complex, fake lure, making up like rumors and stuff and making really long letters. And then that's why we've been getting constant carpets and furniture. So, cause then you get the more lines, the, the higher the value item. We believe anyway. So Apollo. A green zap suit. Hey, yo, Maury, I know how much went into picking that gift. Yeah, we literally jumped up a tree and picked an orange. Uh, I feel like a new dude. Hey, thank, uh, thanks, bud. Here's something nice for you. I bet you'll use it, Kusto. So you can already see that we're getting um, some, uh, ch some cheaper things. We've got the clothing item and a red drum, which must be a cheap furniture item. Probably pretty cheap, I would imagine. Uh, hello Mori, my heart was like all bursty and stuff. This is like spooky weird, but I have a present for you too. Think of me and stuff. Freckles with the love hearts again. Uh, oh, green rug. Woo. <laughs> Thanks for my present. I have a special present I want to give you too. Take good care of it. Your pal, Filbert. Filbert is trying too hard to be our friend, isn't he? 
have an armchair. Oh, I was really hoping to get some um, fruit for the cheaper items. Your present made my day. This letter too, of course. The only way to tell you how I felt is by sending you a gift in return. I hope you like it, Gladys. Gladys has a lot to make up for living right behind us. Water bird. This is not looking good. You know your letter made me think about the difference between like and love. One thing that's for I hope that you love the gift I sent. Tipper. Tulip table! Wait, is that the one we need? I believe it is! I think it is, isn't it? I'm pretty sure the tulip table is a red item, is what we've been waiting for. Your letter and present was so very thoughtful. I hope that this letter and the uh, attached present express my feelings well. No need to give me a gift. Kitty. Kitty always just signs off like, Kitty. There's no love there. Right, let's grab this present. No, a chair. We've already got the green chair. So, like, is this something you want from me now? It's my turn to get you a present. I hope uh, you like it for seriously. Think of me and stuff. Truffles with even more love hearts than freckles. Last chance. No, automatic washer. But at least we got a tulip table. So, yeah, it took two months to get the pair, but we were writing complex letters. Now we know we only need to write one liners to increase our chances. So, hopefully we should get another one a lot quicker. Okay, so this should be... Uh, we haven't got any space in our pockets to pick anything up. Hopefully this is the right table that we need. Should be red. There we go. Or pink. Oh, are you kidding me? We can't put the clock on a table. No. We put the boom box on a table. KK Scar. Okay, at least we can put a boom box on the table. We'll have to put the apple clock back in the room there. Oh, that's disappointing. I thought we could put one on like on the, the, those tables. But there we go. So now we can order some more tables and kind of mimic what we've got going on over here. Looking good. Okay, we need to go and sell what we've got in our pockets because we probably don't need them. And then we'll go and grab the coconuts. Oh, we should have grabbed a um, scallop while we're in there. I did tidy them away. But we'll head to Nook, sell these. See how much money we can get and then we'll go and get the um, coconuts so we can pay off some of our debt hopefully so we don't need any of this stuff really we could use the oh wait cat oh no cabinet armchair we could use the red drum but I'm sure it's a big red kind of like an oil drum so it's not really the nicest looking item Okay, so we need to... I'd probably do one more trip of the coconuts, I imagine. One more pockets. We're going to have to drop our tools, I think, so we've got enough space to carry them. We'll put our tool... Actually, do you know what? We'll, we'll uh, plant these remaining trees. Definitely one going to go here. Um, and I think... Quite a lot of trees in this area. We might have to. I don't know if that's going to grow. We're going to cut some hardwood trees down and replace those. As you can see, we've made a pretty good start. There we go. One, two. We'll leave the fruit trees for now. Oopsie. 
Ah, uh, they're happy. They don't seem to argue too much in this game. Which is good news. So maybe that something we should do is think about replacing every hardwood tree before we start planting random cedar trees. Uh, that way we'll know for sure that they'll grow or they have a greater chance of growing. And done. See the tree is done. Right, let's uh, drop the rest of our tools over here. So we're creating quite a bit of open space here. I'm not sure what to do with it. Actually, we don't need to drop them. We can put them in our letters. That way they're with us, just in case. Okay, we'll head back down to the beach now. Whoops. Grab those last coconuts. It sounds like we've got a notice on the bulletin board as well. Let's run this way. We don't often run off the path along here. And I don't think we'll plant any more coconuts until we've paid off our most recent debt. And then we can think about uh, planting some more. Keep running into things. <laughs> Hopefully we can carry, I don't think we're gonna be able to carry them all. Might have to do two trips. I wonder if Nooks is always in a top acre in this game. Okay, we're gonna have to do two trips. That's fine by me, more money. Hey Apollo, can't talk now, sorry. Oh, we're gonna have to talk, you pinged us. Now, because I tend to be a little on the apprehensive side, people sometimes don't listen to what I have to say, so I was hoping to learn a nice greeting. Okay. What greeting should we do? Um, hmm. Night. Even though it's gonna be daytime sometimes. There we go. Pascal, we, we won't forget, I promise. Was that another balloon? No. Those phantom balloon sounds. Do you ever experience that? It was one. I knew I heard one. Okay, I should trust myself more. Um, right, where's our... Oh, good guess. Right, we'll have to grab that in a second. Hopefully it stays on the floor. Right, we'll go and sell these. This will finally show us how many bells we get for a full pocket's worth of coconuts. Which we could probably work out pretty easy anyway. But we're lazy. Seven and a half thousand bells. That's really good for a pocket full of fruit, isn't it? Imagine we had like all the other fruit and there was just fruit trees everywhere. We'd be rich if we ever got any more fruit. <laughs> Don't tell me that's another one. No, I'm definitely, I definitely am hearing things this time. Yeah, I'm hearing things. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so back down to, oh, we've gone the wrong way. Uh, we should have gone the other way, it would have been quicker. Uh, 
I think when it comes to planting more coconut trees, we should do it so it works out to like three pocketfuls. I can't believe that one is growing there. That's amazing. I think that's everything, isn't it? Yeah, that's all of them. So we may as well... Just grab a couple of shells. Okay, cool. Right, we can sell these. Hey, Apollo. Feel free to lay some paths. And we'll come back down and join those paths up, I think. Um, let's quickly sell these. We've still got loads of time. It's okay. But we'll sell these, and then we, we could probably pay a bit of our debt off, actually. Um, I think we're so close. There we go. So this won't quite be 7,000, but nearly. Okay, nearly 40,000 bells. That, I think. I can't remember exactly. I think that's about half of how much we still owe. So we'll head there now. Let's have a sip of water. My throat's still a little bit tickly. Gets a bit annoying after a while. <laughs> okay, so let's have an open of this. A flagpole! Oh, it's a Mario item. Cool. Right, let's go down. Hey, Philbert. Check these out. Uh, Nook special. Oh, we got a very special item today. The Deluxe Washer. Oh, that was yesterday, was it? That was yesterday. Oops. Okay, let's double check our debt amount and then we'll just pay off a bit and then we'll design some paths, I think. We definitely need to join up a couple of um, paths. Pay, whoops, pay mortgage. 65, so let's do 35. Your remaining debt is 30,000 bells! That's so doable, so doable. Uh, let's check the recycling. Maybe there's a bag of 30,000 bells in here. That would be good, wouldn't it? A ball return. What's a ball return? Okay, so that's that done. Now we can do some paths now, I think. Go ahead and lay some paths. Hey. Uh, Highlands is the perfect weather for chilling outside. Hey, Shorty, do you know how to plant a jungle? I tried to build one around my house, but planting a bunch of trees close together, but they weren't in the shade, and they all squished together, so it didn't work. Uh, I can play Philbert King of the Jungle. I'm sorry, Philbert. Maybe that's why our coconut trees didn't, uh, didn't grow. We, we tried to grow too many at the same time. Right, we're going to join these paths up here, I think. We need to avoid this house. I have to get rid of this uh, fruit tree. Uh, do we want to get rid of this fruit tree? We want to mine this rock. Oh, there's another house we need to avoid. And another house we need to avoid. I can remember why we said we'd do it another time now. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to have to go up a bit. I think we might, oops, I think we might be okay to go around the back of this house. I really wish I knew where the sign was in relation to the house. Um, I'm 
thinking we need one more tile. Like that. Um, so is that in the in the center? Is it the door? Is it the back of the house? Who knows? That looks... Uh, that looks about right. We might end up having to move it one more tile, maybe. Okay, then we're going to go up towards... Actually, do you know what? Yeah, we're going to go up to this cliff, I think. Bring it back along the cliff and then back out. Avoid the rock. So quick to lay paths in this game, isn't it? Uh, oh, if only there was one more tile there. That's okay. So we need to do it here, I believe. We'll see how that looks. Ah, oh, it's a bit annoying, isn't it? We might have to change that. Yeah, we're going to have to get rid of this tree. I don't think we can... No, it's only one tile between it. No! Let's grab our tools. There we go. Ball return. I still don't know. What's a ball return? I was trying to kick over the dirt, but of course that doesn't work in this game, does it? Right, so here... We should be able to bring the path back into the... Cliff. Like so. And then just join them up. You can see where we normally run, but if a house moves here, that's going to stop us anyway. There's potentially two houses move there. And no one likes really, really straight uh, roads and paths and makes things look a bit more interesting if we make them go around things. But I think I'm not too happy about this. So we'll have to plant some trees along here, I think. Yeah, we'll just uh, fill these in. There we go. And hopefully, they avoid the house. We might even have to... Depends where they fall. We might have to put another tile there and get rid of these tiles. But that's okay for now, I think. Maybe we can make some ste a stepping stone tile. And we could do, like, we could, like, stagger some stepping stones down to the beach or something. And the other thing I wanted to join up before we think about doing others is just this one here. So bring it this way. think we oh we might get away with leaving that tree there actually and then we're just going to join them up mm -hmm. 
Uh, oops. And the last two. There we go, we have another path joined up to this one. The only thing I don't like about the paths is you, you you can't run on them because as soon as you press B to run, you pick it up. Which is a little bit annoying, but I think we could do with a stepping stone because then we could put some stepping stones here that go down to the beach. To where all these trees are. Okay, we probably should go and get a scallop for Pascal. We've got them in our storage. Eventually, the, the past will be covered with trees and flowers anyway, so it won't matter too much about where the grass deteriorates, hopefully. Oh, whoops, I just took a picture of the Wii remote. Sorry about that. But we'll go inside, we'll check our storage and grab a scallop. We should have one in here. Where did I put them? There they are. We'll put the flagpole in here because we are keeping a hold of the Mario items. Somewhere. Oh, here we go. These are all Mario items, so we'll put the flagpole in there. Let's check out what a ball return is. Oh, it's like for bowling. Interesting. <laughs> right, let's go. Ah! See, it's just best not to run in this game at all because you just end up picking things up. <laughs> right, let's go and talk to Pascal before he... Leaves without saying goodbye because we are near nine o'clock and I think that's when they probably disappear. Hey. Oh man, standing is so tiring. Hey, can I share a little something with you? Uh, sure. If light shines brightest in the in the dark, does the dark lurk darkest in the light? Oh man, my poor head. I I I I don't know the answer to that one. <laughs> Uh, hook up an otter up with a scallop, would you? Okay, here you go. Uh, look, man, this hero, I'm giving it to you. This hero, this hero. Oh, oh, don't tell me that's the, the deck again. Pascal, did you just give me a duplicate? No, we have a duplicate. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Been pr pretty productive. Let's go and check out the city now. Uh, there's nothing really new to check out because red stock doesn't change until tomorrow. Uh, also, where are the fossils? We haven't seen a fossil in ages. We might have to spend some time tomorrow looking for the fossils. Um, but right now, we'll just we'll bring the episode to a close by double checking to see if re the reset center is open. It's a random Tuesday night, so who knows? Maybe it will be. Hey, Captain. Nice to uh, nice to see you again. I I think. Okay, very cloudy in the city. Got some interesting looking villagers. Okay, come on, Shamrock Hat, bring us luck. No! What does it take for the reset center to open? Oh, kicks. Oh, yes, it's past. Wait, is it past nine o'clock already? No, quarter nine. Races look shut. Okay, so there we have it. We only have 30,000 bells left to pay on our mortgage or our debt. So we might even get that done tomorrow between the money. Ro oh, no, because we won't have any coconuts tomorrow. But we might, maybe we'll do, oh, we were supposed to do some fishing, weren't we? Okay, we'll do some fishing tomorrow or bug hunting or something to try and uh, recoup some more bells uh, alongside the money rock and maybe we'll pay off our debt. Um, but I think that's a good place to wrap it up. We've 
laid some paths. We've got an item from Pascal, even though it was a duplicate. Uh, we checked the reset center. Unfortunately, that's not open. But we did get a gloon. And um, uh, what did we do? We paid off a bunch of um, debt with our coconuts. And the most important thing I just remembered from the letters is we got a tulip table, which is a red table. It's the only red table in the game that's a one tile item interestingly there, there are other tables but they take up two or more tiles uh, which is it's a disadvantage when it comes to feng shui because um, a table that takes up four tiles is still only worth one point whereas a table that takes up one tile is worth one point so that's why we were after the tulip table so that was good news maybe the lucky hat is a little bit lucky after all Thank you so much for watching. Sorry about the break. We should be back to normal now. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to let me know which games you'd like to see played. Um, we have finished the Minish Cap pretty much. Um, we have, of course, finished the story mode at least. So uh, we're looking for more games to play during the day. And then, of course, continue with City Folk at the night time. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to the channel members. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>